Good morning. Today we will discuss attenuation of optical fibers in detail. Attenuation is defined as the ratio of optical output power to the input power. It represents the reduction in amplitude of signal. Attenuation is usually expressed in decibel. Consider an optical fiber as shown in figure. Here the power input is represented as PI and the output as PO. The relation between output power and input power is PO equal to PI e raised to minus alpha L. This equation is referred as Beer's law which shows that the transmitted power decreases exponentially with the propagation distance within the fiber. In the optical fiber transmission, attenuation is often expressed in base of 10 form. Therefore, attenuation loss alpha L in dB we can calculate by using equation alpha L equal to 10 log PI by PO. Here, alpha L is attenuation loss in dB PI input power, PO output power and attenuation coefficient alpha which is dB per kilometer that is calculated by equation alpha equal to 10 by L log PI by PO. Here L represent the length of optical fiber. As we have already discussed attenuation loss in terms of Input and output power is alpha L equal to 10 log PI by PO. If the input and output voltages are given, then attenuation loss alpha L we can calculate using the equation alpha L equal to 10 log VI by VO. If input current and output current is given, we can calculate the attenuation loss as alpha L equal to 10 log II by IO where VI is the input voltage and II is the input current, VO the output voltage and IO the output current. There are several loss mechanisms responsible for attenuation in optical fibers. They are broadly divided into two categories, intrinsic and extrinsic attenuation. Intrinsic attenuation is caused by substances inherently present in the fiber whereas extrinsic attenuation is caused by external effects. Intrinsic attenuation results from materials inherent to the fiber. It is caused by impurities present in the fiber. During manufacturing, there is no way to eliminate all the impurities. When a light signal hits on an impurity in fiber, either it is scattered or absorbed. Intrinsic attenuation can be divided into absorption and scattering. Again, extrinsic attenuation is due to macro bending of fiber and micro bending of fiber. Material absorption occurs as a result of the imperfection and impurities in the fiber. 3 to 5 percentage of attenuation is due to absorption. The most common impurity is hydroxyl or OH negative ion which remains as a residue during the manufacturing. Other impurities are transition metals such as copper, nickel, chromium, manganese, vanadium, etc. Their presence in fiber causes heavy loss. Second reason for attenuation is scattering. About 96% of attenuation is due to Rayleigh scattering. The local microscopic variation in density in the core acts as an obstruction and scatters light in all directions. This rally scattering losses depends upon lambda. Scattering intensity is proportional to 
1 by lambda raised to 4 and become important at lower wavelengths. Any wavelength that is below 800 nanometer is unusable for optical communication due to this high Rayleigh scattering. At the same time, greater than 1700 nanometer is not possible due to high infrared absorption. The extrinsic attenuation is caused by two external mechanisms, macro bending or micro bending. Both of them cause a reduction in optical fiber. The bending strain affects the refractive index and the critical angle of the light ray in that specific area. As a result, the condition for total internal reflection is no longer satisfied. Hence, light traveling in the core can refract out and the loss occurs. A macro bend is a large scale bend that is visible. When a fiber is bent through a large angle, strain is placed on the fiber along the region that is bent. The bending strain will affect the refractive index and the critical angle of the light ray in that specific area. As a result, light traveling in the core can refract out and the loss occurs. Microbend is a small scale distortion. It is localized and generally indicative of pressure on the fiber. Microbending is caused by imperfection in the cylindrical geometry of the fiber during the manufacturing process or installation process. Light ray gets scattered at these small bends and escape into the cladding. Such losses are known as microbend losses. Attenuation can be reduced by better manufacturing processes. In improved fibers, metal ions are practically negligible. Even though we cannot remove all the hydroxyl ions, we can reduce it. We can reduce scattering by selecting suitable range of wavelength. The band of wavelength for which loss is minimum is called an optical window or low loss window. To prevent macro bend loss while installing bend radius should not exceed the limit in specification. Dispersion is minimum in graded index compared to that of step index fiber. So select graded index multi-mode fiber in order to reduce the attenuation.